quick question for the ICP community and Jerry Banfield. You have our attention. Very interested in what ICP is capable of. Interesting that you can store data on chain and um, websites, pictures, video, all that. Seems like it has a lot of promise. Very interested. So thank you for bringing out the content and putting it in front of us. One of my main things that have popped into my head, it feels very much like EOS did in 2018, 2019. Now, Jerry had mentioned basically the Hot or Not app, which I don't like the branding on that because that was like a dating website slash dating app for a long time. So the branding's weird on that. Uh, but essentially, Hot or Not is a TikTok clone on ICP. They're not supposedly storing the video on chain. But even despite that, I guess they ran into gas fee issues, um, basically it cost them $10,000 worth of resources. Developers, evidently, from my understanding, developers pay for resources on ICP versus the users paying for resources like we see on Ethereum or BNB or you know these other chains. Now, all the delegated proof of stake chains have kind of ran into this spamming issue. Obviously, Steam, Blur, Hive, DTube, they've all try to mitigate this in different ways, shapes, or form. Try to create a walled garden. That's a little bit harder to create an account. And then um, you have to have a certain amount of resources to really kind of operate on there. Now, the EOS IO software around the 2019 timeframe ran into a lot of problems because people started saying, well, why don't we just harvest these resources? Let's bog down the chain and we'll quote unquote mine for this CPU and this RAM, which is the way they were you know, basically characterizing the, the resources on the EOS IO software. So, um, you know, the chains have have all tried to mitigate this in, in different ways, um, you know, from EOS to Telos to Wax to Ultra to Proton. Uh, but anytime it's, let's say, free and easy to create an account and there's free and instant transactions, suddenly you run into the spamming issue. We see that even with centralized services like, um, you know, Twitter, they're talking about charging users and stuff like that. So my main question is, do you think that having the developers pay for the resources is gonna stifle innovation? And is that chain really capable of at scale applications like Facebook, um, YouTube, Twitter, you know, you, um, Facebook, or I don't, I don't even know what I've said at this point, but you get what I'm saying. Because that was the whole goal of EOSIO that you would, you would have enough capacity, you could do enough transactions per second, and be able to onboard enough users that you could actually run, you know, one of those apps, you know, efficiently or whatever. Um, you know, clearly ran into problems. You know, everybody wasn't on the same kind of page as far as that. And uh, we can call them malicious actors, but they were trying to harvest resources. So um, I've got that question. And then the other thing is that if the data on there is $5 per gigabyte per year, what happens in a couple years if you're not paying to host it? I don't understand what happens to the data. It's already on chain. Wouldn't all that, all that data and all those transactions be be stored with the witness nodes or the block producers or these whoever's processing the transactions the miners whatever you want to call them where would that data go if it was written on there a year or two ago um, so so those are a few questions that I have and it's not to be negative I I think there's a lot of promise in ICP from what I've seen and um, you know the community seems pretty strong there was good reception to my last video that I did on ICP because Jerry Banfield had caught my attention. You have our attention, Jerry. So um, anyway, <laughs> we're wondering this stuff and uh, we don't, you know, obviously want a replay of, of some of the negative stuff that we saw with EOSIO. Um, very promising technology, but in practice, there became some resource issues. Um, also, Let's say when these um, when these when these projects and stuff are launching, 
what do you think the reason is that they're not kind of listing on like coin market cap or coin gecko it seems to be very very internal um, and to me that kind of seems seems a little bit weird like what what would be the issue of you know integrating on centralized exchanges or getting more kind of eyeballs on some of these projects um, so anyway just a few questions but anyway if you know leave comments below or maybe make a video response or whatever be much appreciated and um, you know thanks for watching the video follow me on all social media at Brian Phobos YouTube Instagram Steam it Twitter Hive DTube Blur see you guys later